Hello learners. In this video, we'll discuss the best practices to design and deploy GCP landing zone. So let's begin. When it comes to designing and deploying a landing zone on GCP, it is important to follow best practices in order to ensure a smooth and successful process. The first step is to build a team. Bring together a group of experts from different technical departments within the company. Make sure the group includes people who are skilled in creating different parts of a landing zone, such as security, identity, networks, and operations. Choose someone who has experience using Google Cloud to lead the team. Make sure the team also includes people who will be in charge of managing and keeping track of the project, as well as those who will work closely with the people who own the applications or the business. Get everyone involved in the early stages of project so that everyone understands what the project is about and make important decisions right from the start. To create a successful landing zone project, you need to plan and manage it carefully. It can take several weeks to design and set up. So it's important to keep everyone on track and informed. Make sure everyone knows what's the goal of the project and uh, keep them updated on any changes. Set regular uh, check-ins and uh, agree on milestones that have realistic deadlines, taking into account any unexpected delays or operational processes. To make sure the landing zone meets the needs of your business, start by planning to deploy the use cases that you want to move to the Google Cloud first. It's best to begin with Google, uh, the workloads, that can easily run on Google Cloud, like uh, multi-tier web applications that can scale horizontally. These workloads can be new or existing. If you're not sure if your existing workloads are ready to be moved, check out the migration to Google Cloud getting started guide. Since landing zones are modular, Design the initial version around the elements that are needed to move your workloads, uh, the first workloads. Then you can add another elements later as you need. Now, implementing technical best practices. Using infrastructure as code, such as uh, Terraform, can help you repeat the same process and make changes in a modular way. You can also set up a system uh, that automatically uh, deploys changes to your cloud infrastructure using GitOps, which makes sure you follow internal guidelines and have the right controls in place. Additionally, using the Google Cloud architecture framework can assist you in designing and operating a cloud topology that is secure, efficient, resilient, high performing and cost effective. To ensure you are following best practices for security on Google Cloud, consider using the security foundations blueprint, which is especially designed for CISO, security practitioners, risk managers or compliance officers. Lastly, Terraform blueprints can be used to create resources for Google Cloud. Okay, to summarize, the best practices for designing and deploying a landing zone on GCP involves building a team, managing the project, aligning with business requirements and following technical best practices. It recommends using IAC infrastructure as a code and a continuous integration and continuous deployment 
CI CD pipeline to make the deployment repeatable and modular while ensuring adherence to internal guidelines and appropriate controls. It also suggests using the uh, Google Cloud architecture framework, Security Foundation's blueprint, and Terraform blueprints to follow best practices and create resources for GCP. Thanks for listening. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more about Google Cloud.